high people point away for Kirk as always under as usual. Yeah, as you can tell, it's game time. Um, I think more than a few of you have requested that I delve into the mind into the minds of Hitler, either Hitler or Stalin. Uh, I'm going to delve into the minds of both. And I'm specifically going to focus on what things that the public does not know about them. I think that will be a lot more interesting to everybody involved, including me, because the reason why I haven't done so already, in a matter of speaking, is because, just like I told commenters, it's not worth the trouble, because we already know what these guys are well known for, and it's just viewing information that everybody already knows about things that uh, Stalin, Hitler and Stalin did, so, uh, yeah. It, um, you know, it, it makes more sense to see, essentially, um, when delving into their minds, connecting with their psyches, what they, in a metaphorical way, had up their sleeves, or up their sleeve, um, that the public does not know, that essentially nobody knows, or very few, if any, know about them. So I'm going to do so. So I'll start with Hitler first, the biggest boy first. And then the second biggest boy after Stalin. So let's go. I'll be counting down from 10 to 0. When I do so, I will delve into the deepest parts of Adolf Hitler's mind. The notorious Adolf Hitler that the world knows all about and whatnot. Um, the leader of Nazi Germany, etc., etc. The wannabe founder of the Third Reich. And it just goes on. And I specifically want information about him that the public is not aware of. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the whole cornfield nonsense thing again. But not so much emphasis laid on a cornfield. It's just burrowing underground, which indicates that he is deceased. I'm seeing nothing but flashing lights. Okay, um, <laughs> first thing up is that Hitler liked to masturbate a lot. <laughs> ah, um, Hitler was also fond of porn. And he specifically had a thing for... For... Porn where women get taken from behind. So essentially like a doggy style kind of deal. On occasion, Hitler also liked to watch gay porn uh, while playing with himself. Holy crap, wow. okay. I want to say I didn't need to know that, but I specifically <laughs> requested this information. So, oh boy. Okay. Okay, that's it. Nothing else that the public wasn't aware of, honestly. I mean, I'm also seeing that he loves dogs, specifically German Shepherds, but we all already know that that's already public information or semi-public. Um, he also liked the fan. He loved dogs, but he also liked to fantasize slitting the throat of a dog. He never did so, actually did so, but he did like take his knife and play with dogs, for example, by running his knife across their necks like this and whatnot. And that is all. Okay. Now. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, Hitler's body is, uh, Hitler's astral body is kind of like threatening me a little and being a bit belligerent. Um, I'm just tell I'm simply astrally telling him to fuck off essentially. Okay. Now, the second biggest boy, Stalin. This is also why I deliberately wanted to cover it too, because I knew that there was not... My intuition already told me there is not enough material for just one of them. Because most things about them are already known and there is very little they hid from the public and or what is worth mentioning. Now, 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 now. Now, let's go on to the second thing. I'll be counting down from 10 to 0, and when uh, I reach 0, I will delve into the mind of Stalin. Um, 
the former leader of the Soviet Union or the former leader of the former Soviet Union, the notorious Stalin that the world remembers um, in relation to world wars, etc. Um, the one who Stalin Rat is named after, as far as I know. In any case, the Stalin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh boy, again the burrowing underground, indicating that he's deceased. <laughs> Stalin likes flowers, as in he really liked flowers. He had a thing for like bouquets and whatnot. <laughs> okay. Stalin actually admired, he actually admired the, the Germans and he spoke uh, a little bit of German, he was like semi-fluent in German. And that's it, there's nothing else, everything else is already well known. So that is it, so with Hitler is the freaking porn thing. And the jacking off, and with Stalin, it's the love of flowers, like, ah. <laughs> uh, and that's essentially it, the German Shepherd thing as well with Hitler, and and that's it with Stalin as well. Uh, the, this, uh, the timid fondness of, of Nazi Germany and its power, and the, um, the, the semi-fluency in German that he told very few people about, as far as I know. That's what I'm getting from his psyche. Um, okay, that's all. That's all guys. So there you go. Enjoy. Have a good one.